a reign of sales on Wall Street that starts sharply down, following in the footsteps of the European stock exchanges and the Asian markets. It is the collapse of oil prices, after the failure to reach an agreement within OPEC+, and the worsening of the coronavirus emergency all over the world. Oil business stocks plummet. All earnings of 2019 are zeroed. The world stocks crash most since 2008. The perfect storm on the markets, not only the expansion of the coronavirus in Italy and Europe in general but also the oil war started because of the lack of agreement between OPEC and Russia on cuts in crude oil production to support the price of the barrel. A terrible Monday for the Western stock exchanges is staged. Wall Street loses 7%, and the trade is suspended for 15 minutes. It's the first suspension since 2008. On the recovery of the trade the Dow Jones is even worse. It has lost 7.8% or more than 2,000 points. Black Monday? Wait till Friday the 13th. The yield curve is literally crashing. We are making history. I am out of words. $2.5 trillion already wiped out. Crude oil prices collapsing. Boeing stock down 11%. The DJIA and SP500 are suffering their worst day since the financial crisis. Moreover, we are in a financial crisis right now. I have never seen anything like this watching the Dow. This is history. We at the Atlantis Report already warned you, time and again, to get out of the stock market and save your money in real assets, precious metals, farmland, etc. And prepare because this is still nothing compared with what's coming. This is the bear market. It is a system changing. Bank failures occur next, look at Deutsche Bank chart, broken wedge, target equals zero. Those hoping for a quick end to this are going to be very disappointed. The Dow isn't the only thing cratering. Trading is currently down. The markets were never halted when they were going up. Let the chips fall where they may. It is only correcting to fair market value. The greatest economy in world history is being exposed as a house of cards in an earthquake. Be careful. Central banks are about to unleash a tidal wave of liquidity that will make 2008 look like a pebble tossed in a kiddie pool. Of course, it won't have much long-term effect, but it will deliver a nice big dead cat bounce, which might put a wee dent in your fabulous short profits. $112 billion repo so far today, and it's only 10.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time. The crude oil war between Saudi Arabia and Russia is plunging oil stocks. Big oil stocks down 25 to 30 percent. Bitcoin's price plunged alongside the stocks. The plunge protection team went to work as soon as the 15-minute switch was activated. They must be doing some serious whack-a-mole. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you. Double hit on the markets due to the epidemic and the geopolitical war between Russia and Saudi Arabia over the crude oil prices. In New York, the Dow Jones trades with a sharp decline of 7.29%, continuing the series of consecutive drops that began last Thursday. A day to forget also for the S&P 500, which recedes 7% to 2,764.21 points. The Nasdaq 100, minus 6.79%, like the S&P 100, minus 7.1%, fell sharply. All sectors slide on the American S&P 500 list. The energy, minus 19.34%, financial, minus 8.98%, and industrial goods, minus 7.38%, sectors are among the worst on the list of the S&P 500 basket. A day to forget for all the Dow Jones blue chips, which show a negative performance. Strong sales on oil, with Chevron falling 14.47%, and ExxonMobil is marking a drop of 14.28 percentage points. A dramatic session for Dow, which collapses by 11.96%. Significant losses for JP Morgan, down 11.68%. The only positive title of the Nasdaq 100, is Viacom scored plus 3.24%. The worst is on Tesla Motors, which continues trading at minus 12.01%. In Apnea Western Digital, which falls by 10.23%. Thud of Wynn Resorts, which shows a drop of 9.81%. Letter on Micron Technology, which records a significant drop of 8.90%. 
American price lists drop by 7%. A crash that triggers circuit breakers and a suspension of trading for 15 minutes. New York Stock Exchange's rules call for a trade break after a 7% drop. And when Wall Street reopens trade, it confirms a sharp decline. The Dow Jones lost 7.53% to 23,920.31 points. The Nasdaq lost 7.17% to 7,963.52 points. The S&P 500 left 7.22% on the ground at 2,757.77 points. This 15-minute stop on Wall Street is the first since 2008. The temporary suspension of trade on Wall Street was the first since December 2008. When the trade resumed, the Dow Jones lost another 7.8% or more than 2,000 points. NYSE rules stipulate that the next trade suspension will start in the event of a 13% loss on the S&P 500. If the drop in the S&P 500 reaches 20%, Wall Street will close, the rule is valid for the last 35 minutes of trading. To date, no suspensions have been reported for 13% and 20% limits. This was a Black Monday for European markets too, due to the coronavirus, which feeds fears of a long period of global economic weakness. European stock markets just suffered their worst decline since Lehman. October 2008 is the crude and Covid chaos roll around the world. Europe was now down over 22.5% a bear market, from highs just three weeks ago. The DAX drops 5.87%, the CAC 47%, the FTSE 106.76%, the IBEX 6.6%. Italy, with 366 victims, has become the second country in terms of deaths after China, with around 3,000. Iran with 194 victims and South Korea with 50, follow. By the number of infections, Italy is in fourth place after China, South Korea, and Iran. The Italian government has decided to close the borders of Lombardy and 14 other provinces to limit the spread. Lombardy is the engine of the Italian economy. From the macro front to the good data on German industrial production recovering in January plus 3% on a monthly level, the morale of investors in the Eurozone, which collapsed to the lowest levels in April 2013 in March, due to the epidemic, counteracted. Indeed, the Centix index for the Eurozone dropped to minus 17.1 from 5.2 in February. The Reuters consensus estimate indicated a drop to minus 11.1. Centix manager Manfred Hebner, quoted by Reuters, said that investors are preparing for a long period of economic weakness. For Hebner, investors want to see a strong signal from monetary policy. The European Central Bank will meet on Thursday. Time is running out. If nothing is done, no one will be surprised when we have a new Lehman moment that will intensify the chaos, added Hebner. In any case, the recessionary context that has arisen will weigh on us in the coming months, he concluded. Oil yields more than 30% the worst performance since 1991. Vertical collapse for oil prices which also came to lose more than 30%, to the lows since 2016 and the worst performance since 1991, after OPEC Plus had nothing to do with the production cut. WTI oil April contract reduced losses to 18% on the final, reaching $33.80 a barrel. The declaration of the U.S. President, Donald Trump, that the coronavirus is not a threat to the average American. As well as the Fed's intervention, which announced the increase of the limit for operations on the repo market from $100 to $150 billion to mitigate the risks. In response, Saudi Arabia has decided to increase output so as to lower its crude oil prices, triggering what has become a price war. The International Energy Agency IEA, has anticipated its forecast. Global oil demand is expected to contract this year for the first time since 2009 due to the new coronavirus epidemic. The outbreak of the new coronavirus has added considerable uncertainty to the prospects for the oil market, he said. $2.5 trillion were not really destroyed. They were never there in the first place. Price is not value. If I sell you a $1 bag of magic beans for a million dollars, it does not create a million dollars worth of beans. It just moves a million of your dollars to me. In fact, the fundamental problem is thinking that trade value going up is production. The Chinese figured out they could take all the production, and we thought we could financialize it and make more than them. This is the Rentier class mistake. 
You can skim a percentage from the economy as long as the people being skimmed think you are adding value. The 401ks were never meant to work. They were intended to give middle class people peace of mind for retirement and make them feel happy when stocks went up. Now they will be liquidated. My advice to go get your money out of the banks right now, be ready for a cash freeze, be prepared for all the transactions to stop. In the future, you won't be able to access your cash at all. Bank holidays and bank runs are coming to America. Be ready for the worst case scenario. Feels good actually a great giant sweeping of the BS money and a resetting of the fundamentals. Take a deep breath, people all things will be fine let the elites jump from the buildings, shoot themselves, and whatever else. You need food, shelter, and a community. The S&P is still grotesquely overvalued despite today's crash. It looks like we are finally here at economic Armageddon. The market will no longer follow the rules. We just went off the rails and over the cliff, thermonuclear meltdown. Prepare for tribulation. The Fed keeps us in, stocks, and, bond, age. Get rid of the criminal Fed and get your financial freedom back. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, subscribe, and please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you.